out is not yet set. Uh, so what this means is that I am not going to be able to access this class from the ACL as I need to. Uh, to show you exactly what happens if you do not do it properly, just as an educational exercise so that you are aware of what different errors uh, look like. If I'm going to do the usual add resource in the main construct method of the ACL model, and I'm allowing users to edit the comment resource I just edited. And this is by the way where the assertion comes in place. I will explain exactly how this works in a second, but I'm just uh, proving your point that this will not work. Uh, if I do it like this, straight away, uh, this uh, is not going to work, and but it's going to throw an error. Uh, saying that the class cannot be found. And of course, as I just said before, this is because the ACL is called very early in the bootstrap before the dispatcher he had the chance to prepare the MVC layout and is able to tell the the convention of the class names. In this case, library underscore means library folder, model underscore uh, means uh, model folder, and so on and so on. So we're going to have to somehow create this resource after the dispatcher had the chance to create the MVC structure, but before the controller is called so that the comments are not created ahead of time and the user is still able to edit everything. Uh, one of the workarounds to do this is to go back to this point after the MVC but just before the controller. So to do that, I'm going to create a separate function so that I can reference this separately. You do! Right, so what I've done here is put this into a separate block uh, so that I'm able to call this whenever I need to. And a good place to put it so that it runs just before the controller I'm being controller is being called would be to would be in the pre-dispatch method of the plugin. So remember from like um, maybe a third or fourth tutorial where we did the uh, pre-dispatch method in the uh, front controller plugin. Uh, whatever e happens here runs just before the controller is called. Uh, also, the MVC structure is fully ready at this point. So we have the advantage of being able to call that class. And I will do just that. Uh, remember that our ACL reference is in our private method uh, ACL. I'm not sure what's happening with my um, code completion. It worked last time, but it's not been very cooperative now. 
Okay, so uh, again, if this wasn't clear enough, because the ACL model class is created a little too early in the bootstrap before the MVC directory layout is being created, uh, we are not able to call this model class. So what we do instead is put it into a separate block so that we can access it at some other time instead of the creation time at construct. And the best time to do that is after the MVC is created but before the controllers are being called. And that place happens to be our controller plugin, the predispatch method. So once the M uh, MVC structure is created, we call the set dynamic permissions method in our ACL class which creates all of these resources and then it is able to proceed into the um, controller. Okay, so, so far we have the assertion structure uh, ready that does the actual permission check. We have the ACL resource prepared and now we're going to do the actual check inside of the book comments. Uh, I'm going to um, come back to this line in a second as I promised. Um, but before I go there, I want to go back to my book method. Okay. <coughs> so we're looking at our get comments method. Uh, well basically what we want is to check whether the current user has the permission to edit the, the comment. If he does, then display the link. Or rather, append the link to the comment. And if he doesn't, uh, simply don't do this. Uh, to do this, we are going to need to access the ACL class. And to do this, we need to access the ACL class. Uh, so uh, we need to have it in the registry so it can be accessed anywhere in the application as we need to. Uh, so before that, the ACL was only necessary in one place, that is in a controller plugin. Now, because we are not only checking the controller and the action, we're also checking individual pieces of the page, it needs to be accessible to every part of the application. So um, the only way I know to do that is through the Zend registry. And we can do that in our bootstrap file. So right after We do all of this um, ACL stuff, do the plugin, we are making ACL application wide accessible. Okay, uh, so that's out of the way.